Alright, welcome everyone. It's King and Sun back with another walkthrough Wednesdays. Uh, we're going to be resuming the Haven City portion of the Orb Challenge Guide. Uh, I'm also going to apologize first for not having a multiplayer Monday. Uh, my The audio on my recording file for my games <coughs> uh, got corrupted over the weekend. So I wasn't able to do anything. Uh, and the one stream I have recorded for multiplayer, my uh, audio is really low and screwed up. So, <clears throat> that being said, we're going to be doing the Eco Grid and the Slums. I'm get this out running into people. I'm just heading over to the Eco Grid now. Alright, so we're here at the Eco Grid game. This is similar to the story mission where you played as Daxter. Um, it's going to work generally the same way. You want to grab all these blips as fast as possible uh, without getting wrecked by this guy. Um, your score break points are 200 for bronze, 500 for silver, 1000 for gold. Um, you get about 250 points per grid, so that means you're going to need to complete four grids to get all the points you need. I gotta uh, the back. <clears throat> all right, so we're here at the Eco Grid game. It's similar to the story mode uh, version, uh, except that instead of one grid needing to be cleared, you need to clear. Four. Um, that guy open. Um, so you can hold X to increase your speed. Never mind. Alright, so we're at the Eco Grid game. Uh, this is similar to the story mode version with Daxter. Uh, you can hold X to increase your speed. Uh, you need 200 points for bronze, 500 for silver, and 1,000 for gold. You get about 250 points per grid clear, uh, which means you're going to need to clear four of these grids. Um, each grid, the uh, firewall guy moves just a tad faster. Um, <laughs> and the fourth one, um, you get two of them. Beautiful and fun. It's not, it isn't at all. Um, anyways, you uh, just need to keep moving, grabbing these blips. Alright, so we're here at the Eco Grid Stay game. On. You need 200 points to get bronze, 500 to get silver, and 1,000 to get gold. It's, uh, it's going to run very similar to the story mission with Daxter. Uh, you're going to need to right. nail these spawners to stop them from creating new blips. Um, you get about 250 points per grid. I gotta avoid the when you clear grid, it's going to jump you to another one. Nope. Alright, so we're here at the Eco Grid game. It's gonna play very, actually, almost exactly the same as the story mode version. You can hold X to increase your speed, and your whole goal is to get uh, a thousand points for uh, gold. Um, you get about 250 points per, uh, per grid. Whenever you get all the blips on a grid, it's going to take you to the next one. Um, each time you finish a grid, it's going to increase the speed of the little firewall guy by a little bit. And then at the fourth grid, um, 
it's going to actually spawn two of them. So you've got to pay attention to where they're at. I'm just trying to snag as many of these as possible before he jumps. Uh, it's safer to be cautious and jump a lane. If you think he's gonna uh, jump, it's hard to tell because his jump speed is faster. Oh no! I need to get that thing before it becomes troublesome. There we go. Looking bad. Switch. All right, we're here at the Eco Grid game. It's going to play very similar to the story mode mission with Daxter. Um, oh no. This time, you need to <coughs> clear the grid multiple times. In the story, you only had to clear the grid once. Uh, that was Alright, we're here at the Eco Grid game. Uh, I have to say, this is one of the most infuriating challenges in Jack 3. Um, it plays exactly the same as the story mission, except this time you need to get a thousand points. Um, they don't tell you the points in the first time you do it, but it's 250 points per grid. So at 250 points per grid, it means you need to clear uh, four grids to get the thousand points that you need. Um, which is a very tedious process. Alright, so we're at the Eco Grid game. Um, this, in my opinion, is the absolute worst challenge to do. Uh, not because of difficulty, just because of how tedious it is. Um, it's just annoying. Um, you need uh, 200 points for bronze, 500 for gold, uh, 500 for silver, and 1,000 for gold. Uh, each little blip, of course, counts as a point. Uh, I'm not sure I would pay attention if you get points uh, for the uh, blip spawners. Um, let me find out in a moment here. Let me catch them. Okay, so the blip spawner actually takes away points. Um, that was a little risky there, making that jump so late. Um, so there's a little bit more than 250 uh, blips per grid. Um, as you finish grids, the little firewall guy is going to increase in speed. Snag him and nip that problem in the butt. Um, <clears throat> he also switches lanes faster and unpredictably. It's harder to know when he's going to switch a lane. Um, there we go. Uh, so, yeah, he's just going to increase in speed as the challenge goes on. Um, He's taking away our points. We've got to catch up to him. I gotta avoid the nasties. There we go. Looking bad. Um. So yeah, he's gonna increase uh -oh. in speed by just a little bit each time. At grid four, uh, it's gonna spawn two of the suckers. There we go. Just get that before he does it. We want to get him to move a bit closer. Got it. Oh man, too late. Want to catch up to him? There we go. Grid three. Uh, so it's just going to swap lanes faster. The outer lanes are the most troublesome. There we go. 
because now it'll be done as fast as possible. Sometimes you gotta just skip a lane, hope for the best. Okay, that one's done. I want to get out of here as fast as possible. Wait for him to move in a little bit. So we're gonna snag this one, and all right, we're on grid four. Might not talk much. It is incredibly stressful to try and track all these people. It's looking bad. Want to jump out here? It's hard to tell which line belongs to which one. There we go, there's the thousand. Don't even have to finish this grid. So that was it for the Eco Grid Challenge. Alright, so we're here at the entrance to the slums of Haven City. We've got uh, three challenges in here, two orb searches, and a third other. Head around to this one right here. Let's see the orb search. Alright, so this is back towards the entrance, so we're gonna head this way. Can actually see it right there. We'll just barely have enough time for that. Oh. We're less than 50 away, guys. We're almost there. Search. It is this way if I can see it. Alright, here it is right in front of Onan's hut. Get away from it. And the last challenge for the slums is right around this corner. Okay, this is a spirit chase. Also gonna be flying in the upper zone, mainly because it keeps us from being pushed around by all these guys. And this zoomer is real easy to follow. And I'm not even going full throttle, and I'm almost overtaking it. You just gotta be careful for when you do reach the end. You need to be on the bottom zone. it for the uh, slums. The next part is going to be around Freedom HQ and it's going to get us the last uh, maybe got about 34 gems left. So I'll see you in the next one. I hope this helped out. Leave a like or comment. Uh, especially comment if you know a better way of doing anything especially that stupid eco-grid challenge. Um, and please subscribe. 
If you do subscribe, hit the little bell icon so you know when I upload more videos. And I'll see you next time. Peace.